Hello everyone, in this Lesson 5 recap, we're going to be making a rectangle that shrinks when the mouse isn't being pressed and grows when it is being pressed. Let's of course start with our setup. And for this, of course, we're going to have our global variable. Uh, we're going to name it rect size. If you notice here, when we type in size, it gets highlighted blue, which means that it has another function. So it's best just to use something completely different for your variable name. You don't want it to interfere with anything. We're going to initialize that and say rect size is a good starting value, 100. Let's make the size of our canvas, 200, 200. And let's clear background. Let's start with the meat of this program. It's going to be our draw loop. So of course, we're going to clear the background first. Uh, because actually we're going to be changing rect size, we need to have that uh, global definition in there because we're going to be changing it. So what we can do now is we have our if. So you say that if uh, mouse is pressed, so if mouse press, then after we're going to say rect size equals rect size plus one. Otherwise, using else, we're going to say rect equals rect size minus one. Now we're going to draw the rectangle. And something that uh, we learned uh, a couple lessons ago is that we can actually change rect mode. So you know that the normal rect mode is in the, is uh, mapping out where the top left corner is, then after defining width and height that way. Well, to make it easier, because we want our rectangle to be centered, we can actually change our rect mode to center. And that would be best to be done in our setup. So we'll say rect mode equals center. Typo there, there we go. So now rect mode equals center, so that when you draw a rect, a rectangle, you can say that the center is 100, 100 because our size is 200, 200, so right in the middle. And we just say rect size, rect size. So when you click play on that, and I change our screen here. See that uh, it grows and shrinks whenever I click and uh, stop clicking. You might notice that when I let go of clicking, the rectangle gets small enough that it actually goes uh, and starts growing again. If you take, if we take a look at the code for this, it's because uh, it's minus one, so the size numbers actually become negative, and processing a uh, negative size just doesn't care, so the negative numbers just keep growing. So what we can do to remedy this is we can actually say that if rect size is greater than zero, then after shrink it. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. And you can do the same here, that if rect size is lesser than 200, which would be our max, then we want to grow the rectangle. So now when we run this, and let me change our window here. Now you notice that it's not shrinking anymore, it's just a little dot right here. When I press it, it'll grow, it will max out, and you see uh, it's around the edges right here. And when I let go, it shrinks right back down. There are, of course, other ways that you can do this. One, you can actually, if you look at the Python documentation, there's a command called constrain. And what constrain will allow you to do is, if we just do this, uh, remove what we added before. Actually, I'm just going to spam undo here. Here we go. Uh, let me redo that. There you go. So now what we can actually do is we do this. So we say rect size equals constrain. And you could say rect size and after I want our minimum to be zero and our maximum to be 200. So when we click play on that or run this program and I switch our window, you'll see that it has the same effect. Uh, constrain is basically capping it between those two values. Of course, there's many ways to do different things. If you figure out something else, that's awesome. Uh, but this is how we make our groin and shrinking rectangle. Bingo!